All right, let's look at uh, equations, subscripts, and other things using Google Docs. So uh, let's begin with a chemical formula, CH3COOH, acetic acid. Is, and, and can also be the very same formula can be typed as HC2H3O2. Two versions away in the same formula, they're both fine. Now, um, the issue here is neither of these is technically correct. You need to have subscripts for these numbers right here because that tells you how many hydrogens or here it tells you how many carbons, etc. So in order to do that, you need to select the number you want to change into a subscript, find the format menu, go to text, and then choose the subscript option. Now, before I click that, which clicking it will make it go subscript, notice this, there is a shortcut, control, comma, whereas control period does superscript, which is like x squared, X with a two on the bottom, be subscript. Okay, so this turns it into the proper format of what it should be. And just to show you on a regular keyboard here, control comma, made it go back, control comma again, makes it go right back to being a subscript again. I can do these other ones just the same, select, and I can either go through the menu, or if I just remember control comma, then that turns it into a subscript, and I can do it to all the rest of these two, turning these into subscripts. Now what about a, oh, and uh, I'll also mention, you'll notice anything I type after that's still in subscript form, fine, whatever, you just select whatever you don't want in subscript form, and then control comma, or go through the menu again, which I'll just remind you, going through the menu means format, text, if you click superscript again, or sorry, if you click subscript again, it goes back to being regular because it undoes the being in subscript. And so there we go, back to regular again. Now suppose I want to do an entire chemical formula. Let's take, for example, the neutralization reaction of hydrochloric acid plus calcium hydroxide makes, and I'll put a couple of spaces in there, uh, let's see, water and calcium chloride. Oops. How do you put the arrow in? How do you make these proper subscripts? Well, the same thing for the subscripts. You can, once you're done typing, you can control comma to put these all of these things that need to be subscripts into subscripts. But we need to talk about where do you get the special characters, like for example, the arrow and the that should be going here from products to reactants. The answer is you go back up here to insert menu this time, and we're going to find the special characters option. There it is. And when I clicked that, this immediately popped up. So I'm going to go find what I want right here the right words arrow, I just click it, and by clicking it once, it's in. You'll know if you're able to see that portion of the screen, you'll see that popped up as soon as I clicked that little arrow in this menu. Now that I'm done with this menu, I click it to go away, and there it is, the equation with an arrow. So there's a properly formatted chemical equation. Let's see, oh, it's still in subscript form. So what I'm going to do is control, comma, it's back to regular again. Great. Oops. Control Z to undo that, and let's only delete the things I want. All right, now let's go through something else you need to know how to do, which is an equation. Suppose you want the equation for molarity. Mol molarity equals moles divided by liters. Well, you could do this. But that's not technically the proper way to do it. How do you actually show something on top and something on bottom? Actually, perhaps I'll leave this up here. Oops. Should be leaders. All right, anyway, let's show you how to insert a proper equation. And let's start by typing that in. And then I'm going to go here to the insert menu and equation. And you can have just molarity equals and then your equation, or you can actually bring molarity inside of the equation box. So that's part of the actual equation format thing. 
And then, okay, how do you do moles divided by liters? How do you actually make that appear? You go up here in this corner right here, and you want to find this math operations thing right here. And it gives you all these things. Well, what does this mean? Well, if you want one thing over another thing here, you use this to create type a square root. Use this for something with both a power, with a x superscript and a subscript, etc. So I will use this because I want something on top and something on bottom. When I did that, this appeared. Now I can top the thing on top. Number of moles. And then I can type the bottom portion also so by clicking down there. Number of liters. And there you go. You now have an equation. And this can be used to do type any kind of work. You can have use this to create a multiplication or conversion factors, convert from one thing to another. You can show all your work using this sort of tool. And this is something that's worth looking into in terms of like when you insert a new equation, which you can do through that button right there once you've opened this dialog, you can choose any number of functions, some of which honestly I have no idea what they are, but nonetheless they give you wide ability to type virtually anything, and that is a powerful tool for being able to represent anything in a report for, say, a chemistry class. All right, so that concludes this tutorial.